Tell me the truth, how many concealers do you have in your drawer? Or how many concealers did you actually buy on 2023? We can all agree that the year 2023 was the year of the concealer. Everybody was buying new concealers because so many new concealers came out. And then all concealers that nobody talked about before, all of a sudden they made a comeback. So I now decided to make a video using the concealer that I just bought. A brand new concealer that I didn't use before ever. And 48 hours later, this TikTok that I made using this concealer got 2 million views. It's insane. I like, like, where were all these people before? I'm so, so thankful for all of the attention that I got from that TikTok. And so I decided to now make a YouTube video showing uh, what is it that I did with this concealer. All right, let's get to the point. Here is the concealer. It's by Hourglass. And that's what the packaging looks like. And I got it in the shade Pearl. This is what the applicator looks like. Some people say that it smells like something. It just smells like makeup to me. It doesn't have a strong smell at all. I'm 60 years old and I do have wrinkles, I have texture, I have imperfections, I don't have an even skin and I have rosacea, which I have under control. And my skin tends to be on the drier side and uh, it will be like really dry and itchy if I don't apply all of the products that I do apply every single day. If you want the makeup to work, you have to take care of your face first. Put all your moisturizers, your primer, whatever works for you, you gotta get it done before you put makeup on or the makeup is not gonna sit well on your face. Very creamy, silky consistency and it's very, very, very rich. So that means that a little bit goes a long way. This is the way I like to use it. I just put some dots here and there. With the purpose of brightening my face, especially this area. For some reason, you know, like the rest of my face looks great. And then this area, I always see like shadows I don't wanna see. So that was the purpose of this concealer to get rid of that. With a concealer brush, I start working this concealer on my face like this. So I just tap it and I, I work from the bottom up. So that will give this a chance to sit a minute. and see how it is already brightening really beautifully. Do this other side. And I'm gonna like tapping it and barely dragging it. You don't wanna drag, you want to tap. And get yourself a very good concealer brush or a brush that's designed for concealer. If you don't have the right tools, then your makeup is not gonna work. I learned that the hard way. Okay, so that is the bottom. See how bright that is in comparison to the top. Now I'm gonna do my eyes. And look how that, look what it does. It's so, so rich. And I think that was one of the reasons people did not care for this concealer or the people that did not like this concealer were confused is because they didn't understand the richness of this concealer, which I appreciate greatly. Now, if you don't like too heavy, 
then just do smaller dots and then just work and practice until you find the amount that you actually are content with. Lift, lift. Remember, we don't want anything sagging. Between my eyebrows, and I go like around my eyebrows. I will distribute whatever I have already on the bottom to my nose. The same here, see? It's still very thick. Because I was talking to you, so. A little bit of my f nose here, like a line. wet sponge this is by beauty blender it's the best sponge there is and you blend it in just pat it around and this will make it look more natural and look at the difference it is no cakey it is no creasing. It is just glow. My skin is glowing. It looks so fabulous right now. It's so pretty. With the same sponge that you used before, use the bottom of it. Grab your, grab your foundation. I'm using Patrick Ta. You can see I love this. It's my second one, and. We are going to apply it with a sponge instead of a brush everywhere. Specifically in the areas that we did not put concealer on. love love this foundation i cannot say enough good things about it not only is it easy easy to apply but it just gives your face the most natural beautiful glow blush in some eyeshadow like a gentle everyday makeup on my face so you can see how the makeup sits on this concealer and this is the finished look using the hourglass concealer when i did a video a lot of the comments that i received or questions was how do you set your concealer i don't but i was curious because a lot of people suggested just get the translucent powder this is the side with no powder this is the side with the translucent powder and this is the end of this video you're gonna have to decide whether you want the translucent powder on top of that or not. I am loving this side more than this one now. Everybody can do this makeup. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video and I hope this video helped you and let me know in the comments if you have tried this concealer and what are your thoughts about it. Until next time, bye!